everybody, Sam Marwood here from Coldway Farms and welcome to episode 57 of Coldway Farms TV. I'm out in the backyard, it's late in the day. Uh, I planned to do this update early this morning and uh, things just got away from me, um, and which is a sign that things are going really well because there's a lot to do, but we are dedicated to doing these weekly updates. We want to keep you informed of what we're doing to make it possible for you to own a farm. We just go through what's happening every week and just come out with different ideas to get you inspired. So this is probably a different time for most people uh, to be watching, so if you're coming home on the train or um, might be coming back from work or whatever you're doing, uh, welcome and uh, it's great to hopefully have some new people watching live. So this week we're going to topic, cover a few topics. Um, the first one is around um, the Cultivate Farms team and what's happening in the background, a leadership summit we're doing, uh, it's some, a call to retiring farmers to not just sell your farm to the next door neighbour, um, do's and don'ts of your Cultivate Farms membership a question from an aspiring farmer about how much equity you need and also a stack of farms that are ready for you now to go and own um, if you want them. They're there for you. You don't have to, but that's what we're here for. Uh, so thank you for joining. We really do appreciate your, t your attention. Uh, we'll get cracking. So as with every week, we talk about how many members we have um, purely to demonstrate there are so many other people out there like you who want to own a farm and we need you, we need you, we need you to sign up because that helps us build momentum. We have up to 389 registrations, that is eight more from last week. So we are still getting people signing up. Uh, we expect this number to get to 389,000. That's our goal, we want you on there, we need you on there, you need to be on there. Um, there are many benefits, one of them is you get a uh, Mercado uh, membership valued at $300 for free, you get to talk to us, uh, you get access to investors, and you help to build a massive uh, momentum of what we're doing here in that we're trying to make it possible for anyone to own a farm. No one else is really focusing on that ownership angle. We need your support, so please sign up. All right, let's get into some juicy content. So there's busy times here at Coldway Farms. Uh, you may have contacted us recently on Facebook or email or left a phone message and we've probably taken a long time to get back to you and I apologise. I pride myself on my email etiquette and love getting my email down to zero at the end of the week uh, but I can't even read some emails at the moment. We will get back to them so this is not to say don't get in contact. We still want you to get in contact. We just want to emphasise that there's a lot going on and we want to hear from you and we will respond uh, but please don't be offended if we don't get back straight away. Um, uh, and I guess that's just a reflection of, of yeah, some exciting things that are happening. So we know things are getting busy, so that obviously means we need to scale up some way. So uh, Tegan Hicks, who's a co-founder, uh, who has four kids along with her husband, Tim, co-founder as well. Um, so she is flat out, absolutely flat out with that. And we do a lot of strategic thinking, but we've managed now to get Tegan on for a day a week, just grinding out stuff, focusing on retiring farmers. So that is all happening now, which is going to... Uh, help us respond and be more agile for retiring farmers, which is awesome. We also are employing an aspiring farmer who I'll reveal soon, uh, who's going to be our aspiring farmer contact. They have been matched with an investor. They've done it. They've done everything you guys want, which is to connect with someone who's going to back them onto their farm. So it's awesome to have them on board from a Cultivate Farms point of view so you guys can get real feedback and real advice from someone who has lived it, who has hustled and has found that opportunity to get onto their farm. Uh, we also have Eunice, who is watching now. Eunice is our marketing guru. Um, she's the reason why we are smashing social media at the moment, which I absolutely love and a massive pan, um, fan of. Um, so we're sort of trying to demonstrate to you guys the value of social media and that you should be doing that as well as an aspiring farmer. So Eunice is uh, on board. And my brother Jared is the web developer, and we're catching up on the weekend in Bendigo to go through how we make the experience so much better for you guys. This is just the first version website, and uh, we are upgrading. Um, so I'm glad my brother is a tech geek. Um, so please, if you want to get in contact, the best way is email. Um, you can call. I just probably won't be able to respond. Phone calls are just hard for me to get to. Um, so email or messenger and we will get back to you. Um, but I uh, appreciate everyone who reaches out. Please keep reaching out. 
I am attending a leadership summit in Wodonga in, in Victoria, Northern Victoria. And so anyone who's around on the 29th of May, I encourage you to come along. It's, a, um, it's not specifically focused on cultivate farms, but it's more talking about my lessons of, around leadership. And um, yeah, I really encourage you to go along. The link's there. Um, it's uh, with some great people. Uh, and also um, um, Stuart Crossway is presenting as well. So Stuart's a dairy farmer up in Northeast Vic, and he's been a really great champion of ours. And, help kick ideas around. So we're both talking about this concept of leadership and I guess the angle that I'm going to be promoting is, is this uh, angle that leadership, a lot of it comes down to hustle and how much you want something. If you know you want something, you're going to hustle and work hard to, to get there. So, um, I, I, and I use that word a lot because I believe in it and I guess that's going to be the cornerstone of, of what I'm going to talk about is things don't happen overnight and things don't happen unless you believe in it and things don't happen unless you work hard to make them happen. And that's the message for you aspiring farmers. And so the th thread that runs through every bit of content we present is if you want this, you can get it. It's just not going to fall in your lap and you're going to be hustle for it. Um, and yeah, your, your dream is to be an aspiring farmer. To own a farm is a massive one. And you've got to ha work hard and you've got to have that leadership uh, and have that eye on the prize and unwavering desire for it or else you're not going to get there. So I guess that's the theme we'll, I'll be talking on at Leadership Summit. So please come along. We'd love to share and just meet you as well. I want to meet more and more inspiring farmers and retiring farmers. This next one is uh, don't just sell your farm to the next door neighbor. We have heard uh, many stories. You guys have heard the stories that a farmer who's looking to step back, uh, they think, oh, I'm going to sell the farm. What is the first thing they do? It is a quick drive across the paddocks or across the road uh, to the next door neighbour, a uh, casual cup of tea and say, look, I'd like you to buy my property, I'm, I'm, I'm moving off. And that next door neighbour probably says, look, I'll think about it. And then I reckon an hour later, they say, I'm going to do it. They have a phone call to the bank manager. Um, they'll get the loan extended. Uh, they need the extra property. They need. They can do it. Uh, they can make money off it. Uh, it's easy. It's right there. It makes sense log logistically. Um, and they'll buy it. And that's great, and there's a great outcome. So we're happy with, happy with that. Um, and it makes sense if, in other ways in that uh, from you as a retiring farmer that you don't have to promote your farm. No one knows about it. There's no one in the regions talking about it. Um, you don't have to go through the horribleness of someone snooping around your farm. Um, uh, and you don't have people chasing you up at the footy saying, oh, you're selling, you're moving on. So we get it. We can see the absolute benefit and how it just streamline the whole process. But what if... Uh, what if a retiring farmer spent the previous five years headhunting the best young farmers in the district? And what if that retiring farmer uh, had a cunning plan to one day approach those farmers and say to them, hey, I am willing to transition ownership to you for my farm. You have to pitch though, and I want you to put a proposal together to me around how I could do this, how I'm gonna make money, how I'm still gonna get a price, and how you own the farm over a 10 year or whatever year period. Imagine that. Imagine that, what that would do for a regional community, how that could get people pumped up uh, and how that would keep another family in the community or attract a new family into the community. Um, we would love to see more of that. Um, and we want it to be a win-win. I reckon there'll still be an amazing win-win outcome. You still get a good price for your land. So this is a call to any retirement age farmer who's looking to sell, please don't walk to the next door neighbor as your first point of call. Come talk to us. Uh, come and or go find your local community member who knows the next gen farmers and talk to them and just have a discussion. We can do it confidentially and just think about a different way of selling your farm. It's just simply a conversation. It could lead to so many great things. Like if we can get 5% of retirement age farmers just thinking like this, can you imagine the impact it would have? Can you imagine an aspiring farmer who's watching this right now? If a, a farmer gave you a call after this, after you finished watching this, and they said, all you need to do is pull a proposal together. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, yeah, Derek, reverse mortgage. Absolutely, it could be a reverse mortgage. could be vendor finance. could be leased to in through your profits. Um, there are a stack of ways that that detail of transition could occur. Uh, the first thing is, is just knowing there's someone who could earn their way in, and then it's a matter of getting the experts, and we're happy to ch chat with you as well. Get the experts in to help work through the details. Okay, so the do's and don'ts of your Cultivate Farms membership. One, we want you to sign up as a member. Uh, there are so many benefits, and we're not gonna talk about the benefits. Uh, you've heard that before. But I wanna talk about what you should be doing now you've signed up as a member. Um, so I've listed them all here, and I've got a few don'ts as well. Um, so we want you to fill in your details 
fully. So if you don't write down what farm you want or where you want to farm, we can't send you personalized emails saying, hey, we found the perfect farm for you, you should apply for it. And we'll be doing that for every single farm we're loading up now. So please make sure your details up there. Outline your preferences, get your details in there. Uh, if you don't have your details, retiring farmers won't be able to find you as well. And it's, it's happened as well, where retiring farmers are trawling the database to find farmers that they think could get uh, be great with them so I can't emphasize this enough please fill out your details fully uh, we want you to create a website or a blog and link back to your profile get content out there where people's attention is online and show people you want to become a farmer um, create a Facebook page we've said this a million times create a Facebook page document your journey of becoming a farmer of what you're learning and use that to get people's attention uh, have your link to your profile in your email signature that is a great idea. Imagine every time you send an email, you're promoting your farm ownership desires. Um, send an article to your local newspaper. I did a story on that. You can Google that as well, saying that you want to be a, a, a farmer and you want some retiring farmers to contact you. The local newspapers would love it. Um, create a little black book of retirement age farmers within a 100, 200K radius of your property and write down everything you know about them and think about all the different ways you can get to know them and highlight which farms you really want to hit up and get to know them so that over the time they might consider you as someone that you could back, uh, they could back you onto their farm. Spend $10 a week on Facebook ads. You've got your page, you could target every single retirement age farmer in your district uh, every week through an article or a comment or a, a post saying you want to own a farm and that'll get to them uh, and they will see it and they'll get talking and opportunities will come your way. Uh, have a regular meet up with an accountant, a lawyer, a banker, uh, an agronomist every month, one month, once a month and have a coffee and get to know them, get to tell them what you're, you're doing and they could open doors to you because they've got all the contacts in the district. Uh, do a skills audit. Are you good enough? Make sure you are good enough to own a farm. Would a retiring farmer want to back you? Would an investor want to back you? If you don't think so, go get a job. Go learn the skills you need to. Come back to your profile every three months. We want you to make sure it's up to date. Subscribe to realestate.com.au and get daily or weekly updates on farms that are coming through. Get your eye in. Know which farms are ready to go and which ones are overpriced. Pull a proposal together. Download our template and start writing. You need a piece of paper written with words on it that have and explain why you're awesome and why you should be backed onto a farm. Uh, that is a big one. Watch our videos, comment on all our videos. Uh, continually uh, come back to our farms page and see what farms are available. Uh, follow us on social media and have a chat with us. Um, there's a lot you can be doing and we want you to be doing and your membership is just the first thing. The don'ts, don't just think a farm is gonna come to you, it's not. Um, when we post a farm that's available, it's a competitive process, so uh, we need to be, um, uh, uh, sorry, just reading a comment there from Derek. Uh, yep, definitely lots of red tape here in Australia for farming, Derek, uh, but we're trying to get around that um, and find ways that you can get on your farm easily. So don't, don't just think a farm is going to come to you. Um, it's just the first step in a long pathway. So um, this is, um, it's gonna take hard work and hustle for you to go on your farm. Don't get depressed, it's gonna take a long time. It could take years, but have that mindset that it's gonna, you'll get there eventually and every day you're gonna to work to get there. Um, don't be a stranger, please keep interacting with us and other aspiring farmers, keep yourself motivated uh, and don't think that if you keep this a secret, you have a higher chance of owning a farm, i.e. if there's less people, uh, there's less competition and you'll get your farm. It's not gonna work that way. We need everyone in Australia aware of what we're doing because that means it's going to be normalized and retiring farmers are going to have it much more uh, easier or have it much uh, a much simpler conversation with you because they know what we're doing and they know how it works uh, and more doors are going to open so please spread the word uh, of what we're doing and get other people to sign up uh, we are getting questions from aspiring farmers. As always, I want to keep adding them to our weekly update. And this one is uh, around equity and retiring farmers. I'll read out the question and then uh, go through the answer. So we haven't felt like we've had enough capital behind us that we would appeal to an outgoing farmer, which is why uh, we haven't applied for any farm opportunities this, thus far. I do have a healthy income, so with a farm close to where I live and a farmer who isn't in a hurry uh, to... Uh, perhaps there might be an arrangement that could work for everyone. So this was a really interesting question and I guess this is the point we started Cultivate Farms is that we don't expect you to have millions of dollars. Um, um, so we don't want you to think, oh, I don't have any money, therefore I can't apply for one of these farms that are on our website. You can, it's all about how um, 
how passionate you are or who knows why a retiring farmer might pick you. Maybe they just like the way you've written your application. Who knows? And not for us to decide. Um, but we don't want you to have this capital as the liberty thing from you applying for these grants or these farms, sorry. But also, and conversely on that, um, if you haven't got any savings or haven't built some sort of wealth over the years, they might question your ability to be good with money. Um, so we encourage you to make sure you are saving and you have some sort of wealth or you've invested just to demonstrate you know how to manage money or you started a business or, or just some way to demonstrate you, you know uh, the value of money and, and how to look after it because that's going to make that's going to look good. And it's not necessarily that they want your money, they just want to know you're good with it. Um, so yeah, don't let money hold you back in applying for any of these farms. This is about you demonstrating you're passionate, you're willing to work hard, uh, and you want to see these farms succeed. That's what these retiring farmers are after. None of them really ask too much about how much money you'll have. They know you don't have much, uh, and that's why they want to help you. They're just after someone who will love the farm just as much as you. All right, and last thing as always, farm opportunities are sitting on our website for you to click and scroll and get excited about. There's 18 of them at the moment. We're getting a lot of love for them all, um, and they are sitting applications, so there's a bit of a form to fill out, are sitting with the retiring farmers at the moment. We're going to make decisions soon, or the retiring farmers are soon about a number of them. So please get in, have a look, spread the word, uh, get on there, and, and guys, let's get you farming. We'll speak next week.